Hey guys, welcome back to Supercar Street Racing, and this is the video before the video. And I wanted to get on here before we start installing this device and talk to you guys a little bit about why this device is so important. Chamberlain absolutely refuses to work with Alexa. They will not pay the fees to be integrated with Alexa, so you cannot control your garage door with Alexa. You would have to subscribe to a service to do that. So this Tailwind Smart Wi-Fi Garage Door Opener allows you to integrate with Alexa. All you have to do is put it on your garage door and your opener, and then you can integrate for free, just the cost of the actual device. So Chamberlain, shame on you, but guess what? We're gonna get to work today and show you guys how you can do this on your garage door. So let's get to work. Guys, right in front of me and right here also directly in front of me is the Tailwind Smart Garage Wi-Fi Door Opener. Chamberlain hates this. They don't want you to know about it, but we're gonna tell you about it today on the channel. Hang out. Guys, Chamberlain does not want you to open your garage door with the smart devices that you have available. They have blocked that capability unless you subscribe to their app and you still cannot do it with the common smart devices that are out right now. So this is supposed to help you open and close your garage door with things like Alexa. This is the Tailwind Smart Garage Door Opener and you can see right here that it comes with a track sensor, a smart module, a remote control of some sort with two little wires on it, which I don't know what that's for. Looks like a remote, but I don't think it is. A power supply. Okay, I haven't watched the install video yet, so I am not 100% sure about what everything is in this. So this adapter is for openers with yellow learn buttons, and I'm assuming I have that. I did on my old garage door. I haven't checked the new one yet. All right, I did verify we do have the yellow learn button on the device. So we do have the right options here for this. So I am on the website now and looking at the installation videos. And there is also an installer manual right here. Okay, so there is an app. Let's go ahead and scan that. And there is the Tailwind app. So that is the first step. Installing the Tailwind app is done. Second step is select a con mounting location for the control module, and that is this guy right here. That should be easy. We have a pegboard, or we can just put it on top of the garage door opener. It says make sure the power adapter will reach. It says locate the module on the side of the door opener. Mount the three track door sensor if included. All right, for this next step, we have to move out to the garage and I have to get you guys over there somehow. So I'm gonna stop down. Okay guys, for the next step, it wants us to power on the Tailwind controller where the power outlet is that we plan to use. And there is one, of course, right up here for the garage door opener. So I'm gonna go ahead and get up here and power this guy on. And there is our outlet. I'm gonna leave this hanging pretty low at this point and go ahead and power on the device. All right, I'm going to the next step here. Wait five to seven, 10 seconds, then check the status light. It is flashing red, as you guys can see right here. It says press the reset button. All right, I have the pin tool. Okay, it turned blue. You guys can see it's blue right now. Is the light flashing blue? Yes. All right, so it's asking for the Wi-Fi password and I'm assuming it is going to connect to Wi-Fi now. It says it'll turn green within five to 10 seconds. I'm naming it now, SCSR Garage, one door, and it's learning my accuracy, location accuracy now. It says it's done. It did find my address. It wants me to put my name in and then the email address and it is sending me a verification email and I'm setting a password for my Tailwind account. And I am registering as a new user, and it's going to tell me to start hard hardware configuration. All right, guys, so today we are doing this garage door opener. The whole reason for this is that Chamberlain will not let you integrate this with the smart home. They do not allow it. And right here, you can see me struggling to figure out this sensor that goes on the garage door because the guy in the video did it on the other side and I was just having trouble figuring out how to mount this thing but basically it mounts to the hook and then you slide this little thing in the back to lock it in and you'll see that at the end of the video.
Okay, so the next step is mounting the magnet to the door. And I guess we're gonna have to do it like that because it's too far out like that. So we're gonna need the double-sided tape for this. I'm gonna go grab it. Now we have to clean the area on the door where we are sticking the tape. I have some Windex here. It needs to be less than two inches away from the door. It is going to be mounted on the angle bracket like that. Just like that. Make sure it's not touching the door or anything close to the door before you go ahead and apply pressure and hope that this doesn't fall off and mess your car up. And I'm giving it a good amount of pressure here. So that looks good. Let's go ahead and continue. All right, rear back and I took a picture of this because I cannot read it, but we have to connect the white blue stripe wire from the tailwind module to the red wire of the adapter. And after we are all done, we'll tie these wires up nice. Okay guys, right here I'm just doing wiring. I am connecting the tailwind module to the adapter, which looks like a remote control. If you have one garage door, it's super easy. You connect the white with the blue stripe to red all the time. And then if you have one garage door, you connect the white wire to the green wire. That's all it takes for one garage door. Okay, so I guess I don't connect to the opener. I think we're already we're already there pretty much. Now, I don't think anything hooks to our opener because the remote control does everything. This remote does it. Okay, let's see if it works. It wants me to update the firmware now. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. It says my garage is green, so it says it's updating the firmware. And it looks like it has started the firmware update process. Okay, it is back. All right, guys, all you see me doing right here in this clip is tying up the wiring really nice to the side of the garage door. And also I have heat shrink tubing over the joints and I use soldered connectors that use the heat gun to go ahead and make them stick. So I'm doing that all right now in this clip. And that is that. Should be done with this project besides getting this thing linked up to Alexa. Okay, so the final part of this project just involves you linking your Tailwind account to Alexa. And I know I'm gonna wake up every device, Never mind. And so what you do here is in your Alexa app, you go to Skills, you search for Tailwind. It will find two, it's the one that says Smart Home. Then you click Launch and you link it to your Tailwind account using whatever account you signed up for with Tailwind. It will then locate your opener and call it a lock. And if you look here, here is the garage door right here, and I have not tested it yet. I'm going to right now. Let's see if it actually opens with this. And it does. And now we will go ahead and close it when it is done. So you say lock it, it actually closes it. Chamberlain does not want you to do this. So just remember, Chamberlain will do everything in its power to not let you control this with Alexa. Okay guys, I just wanted to give you a good close up view of this, the way this actually installs. So you take this tailwind sensor here, it hooks around the J track right here, and then this little plate pushes through to kind of jam it up against the track. And then you tighten down this screw here to get it completely tight. Hopefully you guys can see that right there. So this just hooks around the back and this little plate slides through there. The magnet that it has to sense mounts right on the garage door right here. And you can see I use the, the angle. If you don't use the angle on this, if you use the flat, it would be too far out. So the angle lets it sit just next to it. And we went ahead and, and we went ahead and installed the actual smart box and the adapter on the very top of the garage door opener right up there. And the power goes up to the ceiling right there. We went ahead and tied up all the wiring and did heat shrink tubing. Even on the stuff that they gave us that had wiring nuts, we did heat shrink tubing and we did solder, the solder shrink wrap 
connectors, and that is how the system came out. Let's go into the Supercar Street Racing Studios with Brad and see how you can get yourself a tailwind for your Chamberlain garage door. Hey guys, welcome back to Supercar Street Racing. This was a difficult one for me to tape and film because of the fact that there was a lot of downtime in between clips and stuff like that, and also pretty boring, but I wanted you guys to see this because Chamberlain refuses to allow you to let your device work with Alexa. They don't wanna pay the licensing fees, and in order to use it at all, you have to do like IFTT or something like that. And I don't even know if that works anymore, but this Tailwind device will allow you to do smart home with your garage door and also open and close it, which you cannot do with any other device. So you gotta get this Tailwind. You can see it right here on your screen. It's basically a control box right here. And what happens is if your garage door has a yellow learn opener on it, then you will need the special adapter and it's basically looks like a remote control that wires into the Tailwind smart home device and then allows you to link your Alexa to that and use it in smart home and use your voice to control it. It will ask you for a pin because it thinks it's a lock. So you will have to give a pin number to open and close the garage door, but that is totally fine because otherwise you can't use it at all. Now I've had this sitting in the closet for almost two months and I was really putting off putting it into the garage. I wanted to get everything in there first on the new garage door opener. So we do have it installed now and it works great. And then you can program it and put a routine in there to where if you say open my garage door, it will go ahead and open that by doing the lock part. So go ahead and order yourself a Tailwind because Chamberlain, you're not, you're not gonna let anybody do it. I know you're not. And uh, guys, we gotta get out of here because we have to go open the garage remotely a thousand times.